sad ending to the fight to save two kittens shot by a pellet gun in Worcester last week. The animals died from their injuries, and now authorities say they're looking for those responsible for that attack. Melissa Tupin with more from Worcester tonight. Deborah Young of Worcester is known for taking in injured cats. So when an acquaintance asked her for help with a kitten who had been shot by a pellet gun, she immediately stepped in to help. And the minute he came around the corner, he had it wrapped in a towel and it was just soaked in blood. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that this was going to be a, a bad situation. The next day, another kitten would be found with similar injuries. Young brought both animals to a veterinarian. Sadly, their conditions grew worse and they were euthanized this week. Uh, my heart just dropped immediately. I just, I just wanted to cry and hold them and, and immediately just get them the best care that I could to try to stop their pain. The kittens were found here on Canterbury Street in South Worcester, left alone and helpless. It's an area Young says is home to many stray and domestic cats. You know, a very, very wise man once said, you can judge your society by the way they treat their animals. And it's exactly true. Jeannie Heber is a co-founder of Pet Rock, an animals' rights activist group. She says acts of animal cruelty are on the rise and attributes it to tough economic times. And what happens is out of frustration, people take things out on what they shouldn't take things out on, um, on someone who uh, can be taken advantage of. And in this case, it's a poor defenseless animal. Animal enforcement with the Worcester Police is investigating the case. The Massachusetts Society for the Prevention of Animal Cruelty to Animals is also offering assistance. MSPCA spokesman Brian Adams says in part, animal cruelty is a felony in Massachusetts punishable by up to five years in prison and or a fine of up to $2,500. Pellet guns can have lethal effects when used against animals. Pellet guns are not toys and should be handled with care. I definitely think the people need to be brought to justice. Melissa Tupin, Worcester News Tonight. Uh, let's go right to meteorologist Matt Noyes. He's got a weekend weather forecast I think you're going to like. Matt. That's right. Thanks very much, Chet. Let's take a look together and see what's happening. First of all, we'll start out with what's going on uh, in terms of the last couple of months because the official September statistics have come out, and it turns out that January through September was the warmest first nine months for every state in New England on record. And the records go back to 1895. So we're on pace for the warmest year for all six states. Now, we're about 3.3 degrees Fahrenheit above normal. And in terms of just the month of September, all but Vermont, every state in New England except Vermont, had a top 10 warmest September.